like a fairy tale house. I wanted to create a series of paintings that connected to the context of the house within the city and tell this story of what's happening to the city through this particular area of Manara. I sculpt with copper wire. Copper wire because it's such a beautiful material. I feel that I contributed by doing these sculptures. I, I was saying to the public and reacting to the public too, uh, saying that we need to save our culture. And a lot of people felt the same way. And I think it was really rewarding to have this kind of conversation with everyone, you know, the visitors and the artists and da, 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 everyone who walked in to say, yes, you know, let's, let's do these artistic interventions. After dreaming about it for about a week, I called up Tom and I said, yeah, I would like to do something. And I went in and I had a residency of five weeks. I went in every morning and practiced and realized I think that this project would benefit from some improvisational theater work. I wished to explore a character touching on some ideas of, of uh, insanity. And because uh, the world around me here seems quite insane. All these buildings going down. And, yeah, the world's sort of insane around me. very spooky and but interesting to be alone with with this place that is full of artistic energy just because of the the history that it has and the characters that have been that have been in the house like Sam Khazan and the sisters who are pianists and and a poet it felt really amazing like the this uh this, these energies, <clears throat> I felt them in the house, you know, because it's the imagination working or thinking of like, you know, like, oh, 
this poem, what came over this lady to write this poem, you know, the love of the house, it was like written on its walls, it's, it, it was that literal, you know. When I came to the Rose House, it was funny because those walls, those old walls, they're a story by themselves. So it took me also, it put me into a completely different situation. And uh, those paintings of his great paintings. So it gives you some kind of mood already, sets the mood before you start playing. I love these situations where I'm working around people in a project which is more than just about myself and what I want to make. <laughs> 